Hello friends, welcome. This is Zubair Altaf Qureshi with a new session on Big IP F5, right? So in the last session, I've shown you how you can install, activate and order the license, right? So now let's begin in this session by, by talking about the F5 uh, components and how it works and why we need this F5 in our, in our corporate network, right? So this is topology. I've slightly changed the topology. I added a Linux machine for the management. Earlier, I, I, I connected it to my cloud so that I can access it through my browser, right? I mean the post PC. But now I'll be accessing the management through Linux. So, but before that, that we will discuss some <coughs> details about the F5, right? So why do we need F5 first of all? So uh, have you ever like? Obviously, you might have thought like being a user on the internet, right? This is you, imagine, connected to your internet. Huh? You just go to your browser, right? And open a page, HTTP something, right? HTTP and HTTPS or whatever. Mostly we do HTTPS and something, right? And some application. So, or a URL, right? So that URL, right? It's a get request, right? It's a get request, and there is somewhere a physical server on this internet who is responding to those requests, right? So, say this is a DC, and inside the DC you have a server farm with hundreds of servers, right? So, that application is not being uh, responded by just a single server, right? It can be uh, like ten servers, right? Will be a pool of servers right, who will be responding for that particular application why 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 we need multiple servers because we need high availability right uh, high availability okay uh, i hope that's the correct spelling right high availability uh, in in a sense if this server goes down or maybe we want uh, some upgradation to be done on this server we we would take this server down but for that that time being other servers are going, going to be uh, like taking responsibility for the uh, requests to be re like, to, be res to respond to that those requests right so that is why we need this uh, uh, I mean load balancer right in order to balance load balance those servers so we ha have a box here right you have many companies you have uh, i mean you have citrix right it has zscaler so you have uh, 40 gate also right? load balance likewise you have this f5 box right uh, and what does uh, it do is it does uh, what we do is say we have a switch here and then we have in our scenario we have three servers right and and the thing that this uh, f5 does is when I go with a request for HTTP or say any other application that I'm supporting, right? What I do is server on its behalf inspects this request, right? Inspects this request and forwards it to the best resource possible. So that you get that you get that response quickly, right? So that is what the, the F5 does. And the other thing that F5 does is it monitors like this this interface monitors say uh, uh, kind of sends keep alive keep alive or you can say hellos right so these uh, it's actually an http again uh, traffic between this fi and the servers where in fi make sure that the servers are up and their health check actually that is what it does it's, it's a health check probe where, where it checks the health of the servers uh, whether they are responding or not right so that is what the f5 is doing inspects the uh, incoming request right even or else or one more thing it can do is it can check the uh, the host uh, i mean based on the host operating system right so you might have different servers responding to different hosts so you have some mobile device right mobile this is say it's a phone right so this phone when you go to the same application it is not uh, taken care by the same pool you have a different pool of servers for the mobile application right so this uh, f5 i mean based on the uh, device right it will 
propagate those servers to the uh, those requests to the that particular servers pool of servers right so that is how f5 works right and and one more thing is uh okay this f5 um can also be called the adc right application Del delivery control that's what it does it's in, it inspects uh, the traffic right before it delivers it to the uh, i mean de controls the delivery right and and that is what the f5 is capable of doing and and you might hear another word that is the load balancer but that's not what f5 actually likes it to be called because f5 has different modules have, as i have told you before uh, like when i was talking about the basic working of f5 and uh, i mean features of f5 i i spoke to you about the uh, different modules that f5 has and one of the common is the ltm that we are going to study that does the load balancing right? okay and then you have the gtm that is actually uh, another load balance but th that does uh, the load balancing on the dns and it does on the global scale and you have the uh, the asm that is kind of a uh, waf right the web application firewall right that is again another module with the f5 and you have the van optimizer also from them right which is called the bomb van optimizer they have that and they have another module which is the web accelerator right van optimizer and wham warm and wham so this is optimizer this is accelerator right then also they have the pem policy enforcement right so these are the different modules and one of them is ltm so that's why they don't like it to be called as uh, load balancer because it can do multiple things right and so this is why we need the and this is how i'll be showing you in my lab also how we will be uh you know prioritizing the traffic to a particular server or a pool of server and the methods right the method also matter right what with this f5 could do is so you have again a machine right from the internet coming to this uh, f5 and wants to access an application on this server so so this pool will be uh, will be actually uh, serving one one application right so say this is serving the application port 80 http and what happens is uh, different methods one of the method is uh, uh, this f5 will take the first response to the server number one second response to the server number two third response for the server number three and then fourth response will go back to the first one and again likewise it will just keep on going round and round so this is for the round robin method this is called the round robin method and another method is actually ratio based okay ratio based so why we need the ratio based is because maybe you have uh, a server right whose um, capacity is uh, double than this one so we have server one server two and server server three you see say uh, this is having double capacity than these two right so so what will happen is this server is going to take two uh, uh, I mean uh, requests and the other one are going to take one one is to one 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 right so this is kind of two is to one so uh, that is one and another one is least connection right least connection means the server that is having the least connection at that time will take the request right so that the uh, response is uh, I mean quicker right so that is this and I want to talk talk about um, certain terminologies that uh, this F5 brings you uh, and and those are called the you will see those in the uh, I mean the the labs we have right because we have to create those objects uh, while uh, working with the f5 okay so what we do is first thing i want you to mm, remember is what uh, is that okay let me grab my pen let's grab a blue pen so this is the first thing is a node okay a node what is a node node is basically a logical uh a logical representation right a representation uh, of our physical servers of our physical of the physical servers that we have in our premises right for example we have these uh, three servers r1 r2 and r3 right so these are actually uh, three nodes okay these are three nodes 
So node means with an IP, right? 10.1.1.1.2.3. So we have three nodes, okay? So this is node. And second, I want you to know about is your pool, right? Pool is basically a group of servers, okay? That are um, serving one, say, one application, STP. Okay, this is a pool, say, pool HTTP. So this is a pool, okay, group of servers. And third thing is your pool member. Okay, pool member is nothing but your node and the port. So pool member goes in here, that group of servers. Right? So it's, it's actually node plus your port. That's it. That's your pool member. Okay. So that's that. And the final one that I want you to know about is the is what is called as the uh it's called as the virtual server. The virtual server is actually the IP address, like the IP address, which is going to be mostly public. That is actually public, okay? IP address. I mean, we can say public IP address. Uh, that is actually uh, serving the pool of uh, servers that are inside. So these are on private address, right? These are on private address. So anybody coming from outside cannot reach these servers on the private address, right? So you will have a public IP outside on the box here. This is called the virtual server, okay? This is the virtual server. This is the virtual server. So whatever our request comes, comes to that virtual server VIP. Say virtual IP, not virtual server. So uh, not virtual IP. Okay. So I can take this and erase this uh, and take this again. And this is your virtual server IP. Okay. And what happens is by default, by default, this uh, virtual server has the DNAT active okay so you should be familiar with destination man but no worries I'll just explain this destination NAT to you guys so what happens somebody from outside reaches this IP on say this is like 1.1.1.9 a public IP right what happens is inside what happens with the server this FI load balancer is, is it, it translates this IP to that uh, I mean the private IP Okay. the destination to private IP it has a translation table here the XLATE table you can say translation table that keeps track of those packets and it sends the request to particular servers one by one right so that is the virtual server so we will create all these components in in your you can say objects also in your F5 uh, GUI, GUI right when we log into the GUI so we will create these uh, uh, objects in the FI GUI and that's how we are going to uh, configure the policies right based on these objects and guys uh, one more thing that I want you to know is about when when the actual uh, hardware what it looks like so I have a picture of the F5 right here uh, you have many series of F5 so this is one of the series that is the i10000 series so what do we have here we have the I mean the management here right let me grab my pen uh, epic pen okay and I'll just show you what are the things that you can find on a physical hardware we have the I mean the virtual appliance also that's what we will be using in our network right you can you can deploy the F5 on your VM or EXI server, right? So, okay, so I have my pen now. So, the first thing that we have here is the uh, this is called the management interface, right? So, this is our management interface, right? Uh, interface, okay. So, I should change my color, right? So, this is working. So, I take a yellow color or a blue. Right? so then uh, this is the USB port this uh, will be feasible for your upgrades right upgrades via flash okay and uh, and this is your HA link 
HA for your high availability and then this is some LEDs right to uh, check the status and these are the uh, SFP modules right you can you can order different SFPs so that you can support multiple type of uh, uh, media right that type of cables you can support single mode you can support copper you can support multi mode and all these and these are also SFP modules right and and this is the uh, I mean again the status of uh, uh, status bulbs right? and then you have this screen this is the screen and in some modules you will find that screen this is one of the modules that you will find the that screen here because you can set up the um, I mean you can set up the uh, FI from here also right? you can uh, provide the IP address and do the management from here also a couple of tasks you can do here from here this screen also and some in some uh, like FI you would have the post which is like the buttons like this navigation keys and uh, instead of having a uh, touch screen right? so that is uh, physical I mean the FI box right? so you have different series and and all the series basically uh, function wise would be same just that the throughput would be different in higher models right so and one more thing again yeah so while selecting uh, what you say let me just go here and show you guys a uh, um, image that I kept for you guys to see so when selecting this uh, FI you should know one more thing mm, I mean you are not the one to provide that but the application team does right really so you need to know the TPS right you can see the TPS value of different series of big IP5 hardware that you have so TPS is nothing but transactions per second right so you have the capacity I mean your uh, servers right it is uh, the network that you have would be running multiple applications it's not just one application right so that needs to be calculated the TPS for the network and then according to that you can just go on and deploy particular series of big IP F5 uh, load balances in, in, your, in your network right so that is what I wanted you, you to know and in this video and this will be all for this video stay connected with me for the next video wherein we will be going into our CLI and GUI and configuring all the components objects and and we will be seeing this in action right so yeah guys stay tuned and don't uh, forget to like subscribe my channel okay bye bye thank you